Hello, this is the Outer Hebrides Broadcasting Corporation calling civilization with some very, very important news for all viewers who like a good blockbusting investigation. <laughs> this week and every week for the next 26 weeks, I'm going to be presenting a brand new in-depth documentary series entitled Five Hundreds Potatoes. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's start with a poem written and read for us by my guest tonight, Duncan McFive. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, Duncan McPhee. I've lived all my life near the potatoes of Fife. <laughs> and so I'm glad to say, as my potato-loving wife. So when I need potatoes to feed myself and my wife for the rest of my life, I look no further than the kingdom of Fife. <laughs> Uh, well, well done, Duncan. Well done. And, uh, and tell me, uh, what inspired you to write such an epic piece of poetry? Well, it was, it was three things, really, Angus. Uh, my life, my wife, and uh, Fife. <laughs> and, of course, potatoes? Oh, yes, yes. When I say, when I say my life, yes, I, I mean potatoes. For potatoes are my life. By Jove in heavens, you must have been eating hundreds and hundreds of potatoes oh, in yes, your time, yes, eh? yes. 48,611. <laughs> and, uh, and tell me, Duncan, do you have a, do you have a particular favourite potato? Oh, yes, yes. In 1957, I had a potato. I ate one, yes. It was, it was lovely and round. Lovely. Oh. It was a lovely, perfect, perfect, lovely and round. Yes. It must have been a round potato then, yes. <laughs> it was one of the roundest potatoes I've ever seen. Yes. Well, uh, uh, moving on now from, from your favourite potato, uh, let's move on to your favourite funny memory of a potato. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's easy, I guess. It was um, September 1971. I was digging, I was digging potatoes as usual, and uh, I, I found one. <laughs> I found it looked like a man's... <laughs> it looked like a man's head. <laughs> Like a man's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! What a funny potato! <laughs> oh, well, finally, Duncan, what advice would you give to young drug addicts? <laughs> well, I'd say, uh, I'd say, be sure to plant early in the season. Uh, plenty of watering and lots of manure. <laughs> 